Hey, this is René and today I will show you how you can get this performance for your trading system. Yeah, today I want to talk about typical equity curves for trading systems, especially for automated systems. There are some typical kind of systems that I will go through and in the end I will tell you how you can get the performance I just showed here for your trading system and what are the pros and cons of it. So in the last years I tested many many trading systems for me and programmed even more for customers of mine. And whenever you make a backtest in the MetaTrader 4 it's it's a pretty good tool there you can use to make backtest fast over a long period of time. Um, oh, okay, I will, I will take back the fast. It's not always fast, but it is a good tool and it's easy to handle and it's perfect to make backtests and see how your strategy will uh, work out or at least how it would have worked in the past. So when you make a backtest, you can also look at the equity curve and there are some typical types. I will explain three of them um, in this video. So in most cases, the ratio of the take profit and the stop loss is responsible for the look of the trading equity curve. So you can talk of the chance risk ratio and whenever you have a ratio that is kind of even, so you have for example 100 points of take profit and 100 points of stop loss, then in the best case your equity curve will look like this pretty much. I will show a picture of it again. So uh, for these trading systems you should have a higher winning percentage than you have a losing percentage. So you should make more wins than you lose with trades. Otherwise you will have an equity that is going to the ground and you will always have a drawdown. So um, in most of the cases you make a win, then you make a lose, you make a win, you make a second win, you make a lose, you make a win, you make a lose and this goes on and on. So you have to make more wins than you have losing trades. And that makes the equity go up in yeah quite a straight line pretty much. But you always have little drawdowns, you always have little backsteps because you will have losing trades and the ratio is about 50%. But as soon as you or as long as you make more winning trades than losing trades, you will win with this kind of expert advisor or strategy. So the second type of trading systems you will see frequently is a trading system that uses distant stops and close take profits. So in this case you will have an equity that looks like this in most of the cases. So you make um, really really many wins because you have such a close take profit and uh, most of your trades will go to the trade take profit really soon and if you only choose like five or ten points or one or two pips if, if that even covers your costs you will have an equity that looks like yeah like the equity I just showed. You will, most of the time you will make wins and your equity will look really really good but in some cases you will have losing trades of course and that will be a big drawdown with only one trade. So in yeah in these cases you make good profit for most of the times but, but you should watch out if you have losing trades and if there are one or two losing trades in a really short period of time this will make you feel real bad. And the third kind of trading system is the exact opposite of what I just explained. You will have uh, far uh, take profits that are really far away and you will have really really close stops and that will in most cases lead to a performance like this. So you will have pretty much the opposite of what I just showed. You will lose most of the time but the losing trades are kind of small so the equity won't go down in a rush but it will go down steady. And sometimes you will have winning trades and then you make like three or five times as much as you lose with a losing trade. So in the best case you will have a performance that is um, decreasing for most of the time but when you make profits that makes up for all the losses before and you even go um, yeah, to the profit area with this trade. And if you have more than one winning trades in a short period of time you will of course make huge profits. So that's pretty much three basic systems for, um, for automated trading and the, the choice of your trading system pretty much defines your equity. Directly before starting with the trading you can say the equity will look like yeah the 
types that I just explained with a really high percentage. I should probably add that uh, the performance will only look like the performances I just showed if it's a really good system. If it's not a good system, of course, the performance will decrease no, no matter what kind of system you choose. And I still owe you a answer to my very first um, performance. I, I should tell you how you can achieve this performance that is pretty much always going up and you never see a losing trade. Um, yeah, I, I already explained three different types of trading systems, but that's just the basic. You have more tools that you can use and two of these tools are Martingale and Grid Systems. You probably heard of it before. Grid Systems um, is most, or a grid system is most often used to, um, to larger your position if your trade is a losing trade. So, if you, if you enter a trade here and you go buy or you go long, then uh, the market is falling, you might buy again at this point. And if it's falling even more, you might buy again at this point. So you always increase your position if the trade is not going well. And there comes the Martingale um, component. You can also, when you increase, increase your position, you can also increase the lot size for every position. So a typical Martingale system would double the lots for every other trade. So whenever you make another trade, um, it can be in a grid system or it can be in some other kind of algorithm. But whenever you open a new trade, you will have a higher uh, lot size for this trade. So that's Martingale and the other tool was Grid. And when you use both of these um, tools, you can achieve a performance that only shows winning trades. So you will win for most of the time and that is really no magic. So that is working. It's proven and many people use it, especially when it comes to social trading, you will see these kind of systems on a frequent basis. But there is one huge problem. Because of this grid and martingale system, you will um, always increase your risk with every position you build up. So whenever there is a worst case scenario or you can talk about black swans or whatever, you have a small chance that your whole account will um, yeah, pretty much go to zero with only one series of trades. So that is a really huge risk that you will have to take if you want to have this equity curve. So this was my short summary of three kinds of trading systems and two other tools, Martingale and Grid. And whenever you look at a trading system, the equity curve of this trading system will look pretty much like one of these as I just showed. Of course, you can combine them pretty much or you can work, uh, work with trailing stops and everything and it will change the look of your equity curve of course but in the end you can't really change the laws of trading and whenever you take or uh, whenever you trade with a um, distant take profit and a really close stop you will have more losing trades than winning trades and for the opposite it's the other way around so these are some basic laws of trading and you can't really change that for a long period of time in short Time intervals, it's possible, of course, but in the long run, it will, um, yeah, find an average and it will look pretty much like one of the trading systems I have just shown. So I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you know someone who might, um, be interested in these kind of trading systems, you can, of course, send him this video so he can also profit from this. So that's it for today. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.